We dream of exploring the unknown, discovering what lies beyond. I went to an unknown only to explore another unknown. I'm inside a video game. It has been constructed for me so that I can scrutinize more. The character that I own figuring out what to explore more. But as I move in it, I became a simulation only to understand another simulation. A state of mine. Now I understood I exist twice. A reality of mine and an image of it. It's a three-dimensional football that I can feel. But the shadow of it is a two-dimensional arrangement. Just like me in a video game. I cannot be extracted out but I can be controlled without even changing the position of real me. Just like the shadow which can be changed without even changing the real football. Just to change the way of light around it. The visual me is now being controlled because I was the shadow. Just like boundaries in the universe, there are boundaries for me. Or if I die crossing these boundaries, will my shadow be dead or will it be existing? Huh. Will I be existing or the game will be corrupted? Enter to the grandfather paradox. Just like the simulation where I can control almost nothing, the computer program sent me to its past which has already happened and I went back and I killed myself. Uh. Will I be existing in the real video game? By putting another light source onto my shadow, the shadow will die. But I will be existing without a shadow because the shadow was never of mine. It was by the light. But light cannot create a shadow itself. There must be something. We are surrounded by dark matter and dark energy always. There will be my shadow in a dark room. But I wouldn't be able to see it or define it. Subatomic particles do multiple things at parallel. This is called quantum superposition. If I die here, there will be something which will be alive. But maybe I cannot measure it. I have forgotten what I came for because of the simulation made me a simulation. It trapped me inside it. Now I move ahead for its beauty rather to explore more for the reality. And as always, thanks for watching.